that for 220 something. <laughs> now, as I said, this harp survived the French Revolution. This type of harp didn't. This type of harp was replaced in 1794 by an instrument much more like this one. Still a single action, but with ram's heads around the top and this Grecian-style column to go with the Grecian idea of democracy in post-revolutionary France. And this sort of harp had to go because of the person with whom it was most associated, Marie Antoinette, who was not already a harpist when she came to France. She took up the harp in order to be more Parisian, under the influence of her friend, the Princess de Lombard. But Marie Antoinette did play the harp, and judging by some of the pieces from her personal music collection, she played it rather well. She also composed, and she took an air by Paisiello and made a song called Portrait Charmant, which sounds rather lovely, but it's actually how much she hates this charming portrait because it reminds her that her friend isn't with her. The piece went into obscurity after her death, but the tune stayed around. <laughs> 